We've seen a couple of output examples early in this course. Now let's see the basic fundamentals of inputting data. The built-in scanner class handles the inputs. Take a look at this code starting on line 7. I have a variable called in tied to an instance of a scanner. System.in is short for input, the opposite of system.out, which we have already seen outputs data. This is the important part. This code on line 7 just says, hey, at some point, I'm going to capture something a user inputs. The actual capture doesn't take place until line 9. On line 8, a message displays asking us for a name. On line 9, the next line, which is the line we type on, in is saved in a variable called name. More on variables in the next topic. Line 10 concatenates the word welcome with the name the user enters. Before we run this, there is one part I need to enter. The scanner class is one of many built-in classes that needs to be imported before we can use it. This is important for both the exam and for troubleshooting. If the import is not here, the scanner class does not work. So I'll go up to line one and type import.java.util dot scanner semicolon to import the scanner class. Now to run this, I'm not going to go with the typical run code choice because we have input here. The output window only works with, you guessed it, output. So I'm going to save this and we don't need a dot here. There we go. Save this again. I'll click the terminal tab and to compile this file, I'll type java c ex122.java. And then to run this, I'll type java ex122. There's the ask for the name. So I've typed my name. And my name will be stored. And when I press enter, displayed with a welcome message. Small example, but the key here is to make sure you understand what the scanner class does, and that it does have to be imported before it can be used.